Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be having a little sit down, a little chin wag, and um, instead of fashion, lads, we're going to be talking about something a little bit more, you know, deep and personal. I don't really have many like sit down chin waggy sort of style videos, so I thought this would be quite a good sort of like starter. If there's anything else you kind of want me to have like a little deep chin wag about another like sort of topic, then please do let me know down below. For today's video, we are going to be chatting about my personal pill experience, contraceptive pill. Um, if you guys don't know what it is, look it up. It's basically a contraceptive pill, all right? Girls, you can take it every day. Um, sometimes you get a break in between when you have a period, sometimes you don't. There's so many different um, contraceptive pills. However, I'm going to be talking about my experience. You asked a bunch of questions, so I thought, yeah, why not? Let's just make a video about it. Obviously, my experience is gonna be a lot different to some other people's. You might absolutely love it. Some of you might absolutely hate it. This is completely relative. I am not an expert in any way, shape or form. I don't want this to like come across to you guys of being like, oh, the pill's shit, so I won't even bother. It's just my experience on the pill. And I don't know if it's another person's perspective. It's, I don't know, you might find it helpful. You might like to hear other people's perspectives. You might be on it yourself and you might feel the exact same way. You might be wanting to come off of it. I. So the reason that I've made this video is because I have been off of the contraceptive pill. So I was on Yasmin, I wanna say it was Yasmin, the yellow one. <laughs> I was on Yasmin for a good couple of years. I have also been on Rigividon, 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 the pink one. So I've done on two different separate pills. I have been pretty lucky because I haven't actually had huge issues with my periods anyway. The only reason I wanted to go on the pill was for contraceptives, you know, for the contraceptive cause. I asked you guys if you had any questions and to pop them down uh, into a question box and I would answer them for you. I think we should just do like a round up sort of thing for you. So I'll tell you my journey and then we'll answer the questions because I might answer the questions in my little story time. Well, it's not story time. It's literally my experience of the pill. So I went on the pill when I was 16. I had just got with my boyfriend, not just, but you know, we're getting into sexual things and I'm like, hey mum, I go and speak to my mum. I'm like, hey mum, can I go on the pill? And she's like, yeah, sure, why not? Let's talk about the birds and the bees and all that lovely stuff, glorious. I talked to my mum about getting the contraception pill, oh my God. You haven't really got to, like you can go and make your own appointments anyway. When you're 16, you're basically classified as an adult, I think anyway, so you can go and like make the appointment yourself if you really wanted to, but my mum's supportive. She was like, yeah, lovely, glorious stuff, go on go get your pill gal and um, I just got on it and I think the first one was Rigividon and the lady sat down with me she was like hey why do you want to go on it I said because you know what getting a little bit sexually active you know lads <laughs> getting a little bit sexually active and she was like yeah lovely Rigividon there you go glorious and then obviously they go through there's like a whole process within that like I don't want to talk about the entire thing because I'm talking about coming off the pill but they basically like they weigh you they do your height they do your blood pressure they ask you if you want it for anything else. They ask you if you've got any like issues in your family background with pills and things like that or whatever. Like if you've got high blood pressures, I don't know. I'm not an expert, as I've already said. I'm just trying to sort of like relay the experience that I had to you guys so you can, you know, have a little bit of that knowledge. You know, a little bit of that knowledge. So I was on the pill, glorious. I had no issues. I'm not gonna lie to you. Ridge of Idon, she was a dream. However, the only thing that I had was period pains so I was like you know what there's plenty of other pills out there let me try another one so I think I was on Rigividon for two years Rig <laughs> I'm gonna say this so wrong and you are literally gonna be cringing cringing at how many times I say Rigividon Rigividon <laughs> wrong luckily I then go into Yasmin which is the yellow one which I personally thought it was glorious it was fine perfect i keep hitting the plant <laughs> um yeah no i had no issues with yasmin at all i just took for 30 days 30 days or 28 28 days and then you have your seven day break and 
she was nice she was all right it's only up until this year so i took rigivide on for two years and then i obviously then took yasmin for like four then oh my god yeah because i've been on it for like nearly six years pretty much six years i barely had much of a period either i think i was literally on for about three days three or four days specific see i had been looking on twitter i've been like on my feed and quite a few times it had cropped up that people have had like issues with their pills and they've been talking about you know the mental state of themselves the you know the shit experiences they had the obviously i haven't actually had any of them issues until this year potentially it could have been going on for longer but because i'd been on the pill for six years so last year it would be five years when i start, actually started looking at these tweets and thinking about it i was like shit have i changed and when people have actually like spoken to me about like them coming off the pill and how much they have changed i was like shit okay i don't know who i am <laughs> that sounds so dramatic but I had been on this pill since I was 16. I'd been on the contraceptive pill since I was 16 and I was then 22. And I was like, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to potentially see if I can come off of that. Just have a break, you know? See what Abby as a 22 year old is because you don't know if like that pill could be like, you know, holding parts of the real Abby back. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, people were talking about how much they've changed, how much their partners have changed, and uh, the stories, lads, the stories that I was just like, shit, okay. But I was like, actually, you know what? We're in a pandemic. I'm not getting any anyway. <laughs> Me and Guy would barely meet up because obviously we don't live in the same house. We're not living together. So we'd be like going on walks and stuff. And I was like, I'm literally taking the pill for nothing. Like I thought, you know what? Why not? It's like a perfect time then. So I did speak to Guy. I said, oi Guy. I think this was back in like October, November time. I was like, oi Guy, right. Okay. Um, I want to come off the pill. And he was like, yeah, all right. Lovely. Do what you got to do. I was like, thank you for being a supportive boyfriend. Very nice. Thank you. 10 boyfriend points to you even if he said no it wouldn't really have affected my decision because it's my body anyway but i just wanted to say hey don't want to be on the pill anymore and he was like yeah okay why not oh okay cool yeah so then i booked an appointment with the nurse lady and i came to her i said oh look i don't want to take the pill no more and she said oh my god why no she didn't she was like oh, okay thanks for letting us know and i was like okay she said oh my god thank you so much for like telling us because a lot of the time people just come off of it and they don't say anything and obviously they don't pick up their prescriptions and things like that and she's like well thanks so much for letting us know on with your life i was like well that was a five minute job glorious you know when you play it up in your head and you're just like i'm waiting for them to be like so why aren't you on the pill so why not why do you want to try something else do you want to go and i was like okay <laughs> bye then lad see you later karen i don't think her name was karen i don't know what her name is i can't remember i was just like bye see you later lad and then i said to guy right i'm coming off the pill can you assess the situation <laughs> like because he's the person that i would probably like been around the most and i also said to my mum and dad right assess the situation what am i like now okay now i'm off the pill assess the situation and see what happens so literally i think we were on a dog walk and i said to guy well I think the topic came up and I was like, well, noticed anything? And he was like, actually, yes. He said, you are 95% of the time an absolute nutter now. He said, you have literally gone from, I'd be like normal, yeah, all right. And then I'd be spiraling, <laughs> you know, that's spiraling. But I don't know if that's like pandemic caused and you know, mental health then went, mm. but, he said now you're literally like you're up here being an absolute nutter and like for five ten minutes i'll be like mm. like you are anyway you have shit times anyway but he said you are so much more happier that's nice and i do feel it as well like it's not until the last year pandemic caused not seeing my boyfriend not seeing family not seeing friends I was in, I went off to another place of work also for a placement for management and I didn't really know anybody there, isolated. I didn't know that was like contributing towards my shit mental health but 
honestly, November come around, stopped taking my pill for the first month and I feel like a weight has lifted. I honestly felt like, I don't know what it is. I just, I in myself feel revitalized. Is that the word? I don't know if that's the correct word. And yeah, so that is my experience. I hope that was somewhat helpful. Um, let me just get into some of the questions because you guys did ask quite a few questions so the first question i'll answer is post pill acne weight change mood swings question mark question mark so i don't know if i've got post pill acne i know it is a thing because i've seen quite a few other girls say that um post pill acne is a thing like you do get it because obviously you've had so many hormones like pumped into you and then your body's like going without them I think it's just like then trying to get back to normal or something. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a dermatologist or a spot expert, so alas, I can't tell you that. But this is another thing you see because I've come off of it during a pandemic. I'm wearing a mask, obviously, a lot. So I've got a lot of spots at the minute here, like in my chin area, and I don't normally get a lot of spots. Like if I get one, that that's it. Like done whereas at the minute i've got like a cluster on my chin and i don't think i don't know if the pill has contributed to that like coming off of it or if it's because i'm obviously wearing a mask all the time it gets hot it gets moist grim you know and i do i do wash my masks like every day i put a new one on every day so you can't even at me for that we've been wearing masks since about july august and it's only up until like recently I've started getting this so maybe it is maybe it is a contributor with weight change as well see this is a thing I should have done it when it wasn't a pandemic because I have fluctuated in weight but that's in the entire year that's not just in two months like I have obviously I've probably gained weight throughout the pandemic because you know you can't go out and see your friends so you get a takeaway for yourself I've probably gained some weight throughout the pandemic rather than like post pill weight and i don't weigh myself either like so I, I wouldn't know as for mood swings i don't think i have as many as i did before i think when i was on the pill i was savage i felt sad for guy because i was savage at some at some points i just like you you just have mood swings and you'll you'll be a savage you'll be like you go down and you get your savage and then at like five minutes later you're like well i'm fine now and now i feel bad because i've just been a dickhead you know what's the main difference you notice since you stopped i think the main difference literally mentally just it's not until now i've come off of it i'm like shit man like this is abby this is me like i am even more of a nutter than i thought i was like 99 percent of the time i am happy and i'm fine what pill were you on and what made you decide to come off of it? So I was on the Yasmin, not Rigivide, Rigivide one. Um, I was on Yasmin. I just decided to come off of it because we're in a pandemic. I'm not getting any. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not seeing my boyfriend. So I'm not, yeah, there's no reason for me to take it. So I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to have a break. Not a question, but I come off of it over a year ago and got the Marina Coil. Best thing I ever did. Haven't heard of the Marina Coil. Is that the thing you put in your arm? I've heard weird things about that. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to put a coil in my arm because, I don't know, sounds a bit weird, but what are you doing for an alternative? Thank you. Nothing at the minute. It's, I'm just vibing, <laughs> obviously, because lockdown things. Did you lose any hair? My hair fell out. Oh my God. No, I didn't get that at all. I didn't get that at all. Any hair loss, I've been fine. Was it a lot? Did like you have like a lot? Because I think I had a lot of hair that did come out when I was on, actually, actually, I think when I was on the pill and I washed my hair, I'd get a lot come out and now not so much. That's bizarre. Have your periods stayed regular? I've been on the pill for 13, 14 years now. Yes. Um, there is one of my friends, she's also come off of it. I don't know if she wants me to disclose, obviously, this information. She's shared a bit, but I don't know if she wants me to be like, oh, show and show. Da -da -da. But one of my friends, she didn't have a period for a good couple of months until, I think it was like three months, she hadn't had a period. And then she obviously, come on, she's okay now. I got a period literally the next month. So it was bang on, pretty much, a month 
and I got it, like it was fine. I know other people again are gonna be different, but that's just my experience. Have you switched to anything new? Looking at the coil, but a bit terrified. I haven't switched to anything new as yet. I'm literally just me. This is just my opinion. I don't want you to be like, oh, I'm doing that because Abby done that. This is just another pound into the fountain, you know? Another, another two pence into the fountain of millions of two peas. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I have pretty much covered everything that the um, the questions are saying. This is my two pence, as I said, two pence into the fountain. I don't want this to sound nasty or sound, you know, whatever, but I just wanted to put my opinion out there because you guys asked for it, so. Hope you enjoyed. Is there any like particular topic you'd like to see from me? Would you like, I don't know, I don't know. If there's any other sort of like, girly chats we can talk about for a video let me know down below um or dm me on instagram go follow me midsize gal abby on instagram um subscribe if you're new i don't normally do these sort of videos i'm more of a fashion sort of girl but um i'd love to do some more of these sort of sort of like sit down chatty videos if you know you guys enjoy them so lovely smash a like subscribe and i shall catch you soon for another video Bye.